the world of watch brands seem almost tiered in reputation amongst the population. There are brands like Rolex, Omega, Tag Heuer and Seiko who everyone and their mothers have heard of. But then we get to brands like Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet and JLC. Still very well known brands, but ones that require a little bit more digging to acknowledge and discover. Once you do a few more layers of research and voyages of discovery, you'll land on the niche but hugely popular brands. This is where we find ourselves today, with Doxa and their new, but also old, Sub 300. If you're hot on your scuba and commercial diving, you'll probably be familiar with Doxa already. Taking an interest into the gear and tools required to plunge beneath the surface would naturally lead you to what was used before today. And if you do that, Doxa will be staring right back at you. With links back to a time when the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, Rolex Submariner and Omega Seamaster were first created, with a genuine connection to Cousteau, Doxa has no shortage of history. Nowadays Doxa pull on this history and association to create pieces that keep the unique charm of a Doxa alive. This latest model, the Sub 300, is exactly what you might expect from a watch with the same name as the original. A faithful recreation of a timepiece that shaped the rest of Doxa's destiny. The model we have with us today is the most Doxa example available. A bright orange dial with a beads of rice bracelet. With a case width of 42.5mm, thickness of 13.4mm and a lug to lug distance of 45mm, you may be starting to think this watch is quite a beast on the wrist. Well, yes and no. 42.5mm is on the larger side. However, there are a few brilliant little details that help ensure the Sub 300 is enjoyable for all. To start with, the lug to lug distance is just 45mm. The watch is also only 13.4mm thick, which realistically, if you disregard the domed crystal, wears more like an 8mm thickness. And finally, the small dial effect. Although the case width is noted at 42.5mm, the presence and positioning on the wrist is reduced thanks to the window for the dial being only 27.2mm wide. The dial has an array of features that all come together to hint that this watch has a practical, purposeful DNA on offer as well. You can really see the diving pedigree and history of Doxa by simply just looking at the dial. Powering the latest Sub 300 is the COSC certified ETA 2824-2. Most watching this will already be familiar with this movement by now, but if you're not, it's pretty much the go-to Swiss automatic movement for watches priced between £500 and £5,000. For the money, you get hand winding, hacking, 28800 vibrations per hour, and around 38 hours of power reserve. Spending time with a Sub 300 has been a true pleasure, providing a connection back to a love of vintage watches all over again. The most noticeable initial shock came in the form of the case. We found with watches that you notice a thick watch on the wrist, but a good thin watch isn't noticeable in the best possible way. And in the case of the Sub 300, it's simply winning on this front. You can get past the slightly different appearance, wearability is A1. Everything you see here has a reason for being present. Of course it does, it's a diving watch after all. The watch comes with the added bonus of personality though. A combination of the case, that lovely reduced dial with those dark glossy hands, and the pop of vibrant colour. You really can't help but smile when the Sub 300 is on your wrist. It's different, it's quirky, and it's a little bit out there. Nowadays the importance of colour has evolved. Previously the use of orange here was used for practical reasons. Orange was thought to be a more visible colour underwater, with legibility being vital for divers. But now I see these new colours playing a more important role in keeping the Sub 300 looking young, modern and almost fresh. Going into replacement watch app choices for the Sub 300, we already know that the watch suits being on both rubber and steel bracelets. However, we'd like to show the watch in a slightly different light, with a few replacement watch wrap choices. To kick things off, we're starting with a choice that feels a little closer to home than you might expect. The Marazion Mesh NATO is a beautifully soft nylon NATO with a mixture of weave patterns and a combat green colour to offset that pop of orange. This strap choice is a subtle yet effective way of making the Doctor feel updated, but also quite familiar at the same time. Next up is a Dulas Leather in light brown. Although originally designed for dressier watches, this choice is a boxed off stitching design wrapping around the whole edge of the strap. 
For this option we've gone for the white stitching to add some contrast and to complement the details found in the dial of the Doxa. And last but not least we have a Tropic Rubber Strap. This choice is a new version, offering a slightly different look to what you might be expecting. This padded version of the strap extends the thickness to 4.5mm at its highest, and also extends the carbon fibre light design all the way to the edge of the strap, dropping the harsh edge of the traditional Tropic straps. It also removes the perforations and keeps things simple, but incredibly effective. If the details of an original Tropic Rubber don't quite do it for you, we're pretty certain this padded version will. As with all our reviews, we also like to include a few comments and aspects of the watch that we feel we would change if given the chance. Some watches are easier than others, and the Sub 300 is one of those harder examples. Modern day usable features. Let's be honest, if you buy this watch, you're buying it for the nostalgic purposes. With the advancements of diving computers, the diving watch is very much an obsolete piece of kit. It just simply isn't essential anymore. But the diver extension still appears on the bracelet of the Sub 300. I'd love to see the option for a half link extender on the bracelet rather than the diver extension, so each type of docks wearer will be looked after. The Sub 300 COSC offers all the historical visuals and charms of the humble, simple diving watch in its purest form. A passion for the unusual but brilliant is required to fully appreciate the Sub 300, and once you have it, it's only a matter of time before a Doxa will be on your wrist. The Doxa Sub 300 is now available starting from £2,350 on the rubber and £2,390 on the bracelet. We'd like to thank Doxa for sending the Sub 300 in for review on loan. To find out more, be sure to head over to the Doxa website. And to hear our full thoughts on the Sub 300, be sure to head over to the Watch Gecko Online magazine. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.